Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to use another sensor, and it's one of my best. It is called the MPU6050, and it's this sensor. We can hook it up to an Arduino board or other microcontrollers, like the ESP32. Then we can get some information using this sensor, like the orientation. For example, we can check the angle and create this device, which is a level. This sensor allows you to get some more information, like the temperature. And before we get started, Make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And let's dive right into it. So in today's episode, you're gonna need an Arduino board, like the Arduino Nano, or the ESP32. It doesn't matter. We're going to use the same libraries. Also, you're gonna need the MPU6050 sensor. The good thing about this sensor is that it's really cheap, and it comes with uh, three different sensors, like the gyroscope, to get the uh, angular speed. Also, it comes with an accelerometer, as well as a temperature sensor in just one IC. It's really easy to hook up to an Arduino or an ESP32. So it is using something that is called MEMS, which stands for Micro Electromechanical System. So it's like a ball inside this IC, and whenever we move it or rotate it, it's gonna move that ball, which converts the uh, mechanical movement to an electrical value, like the uh, speed, as well as the rotation speed. But you don't need to understand this in depth. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up. We'll only use these four pins. First of all, we have the VCC that goes to the five volt pin or the 3.3 volts, because it comes with a regulator. Actually, it's working with uh, 3.3 volts. And if you hook it up to five volts, it's gonna change that value to 3.3 volts. The GND goes to the GND. And because we have a lot of information that we can get from this sensor, it uses the I2C communication to make it easier to read these values. So we have to hook up the SEL to the SEL of the board. It's the analog pin A5. The SDA goes to the SDA. But if you are using an ESP32, you need to check out the pinout diagram, like the ESP32 dev get C. The SDA is the pin uh, number 21. The SEL is connected to the GPIO pin number 22, so make sure to check that out. Another advantage of this sensor is that it comes with a few pins, like these two. These are extra SDA and SEA pins that we can hook up to another sensor to add more capabilities to this one. For example, we can integrate it with the BME sensor to get the pressure, the temperature, and the humidity as well. As you can see, we have these SEL and SDA pins. That's going to be the topic of another video. And once you do that, we can move on to the Arduino IDE, and we don't need to make all of the calculations to get the angle or the acceleration. Just select the library manager and search for MPU6050. I think one of the best libraries is the Adafruit MPU6050. Make sure to install it using this button. And they have found another one that is really easy. It is called MPU Lite. It's this one. Make sure to install it. Then you could open up a sketch by going to File, Examples, and here we have MPU 6050 Lite as well as the Adafruit MPU 6050. Let's start with this one because it's really simple, and we can get the angle. On top, they are including the libraries that we need, like the wire library to use the I2C communication, as well as the MPU 6050. Then we are creating the MPU variable, and under the setup function, we are initializing these objects. And here it's trying to calibrate the sensor but we're going to look for the loop function. Each time, we have to update the sensor readings using mpu.update. And here we have an if statement. So the code that we write here is gonna be called each 10 milliseconds. We could also use the delay. You don't have to write this. But to get the angle, we can use mpu. Dot. Then we have the method get angle x. Also, we have other ones. Just write dot. And you will see all of the functionalities. For calculating the acceleration offsets, maybe to get the acceleration angle x, y, and z. I'm gonna leave it as it is, get angle x. Here they are using the serial monitor, but you could use one of the uh, displays like the OLED display or the LCD display. Let's try it out. After selecting the board and the port of the USB cable, once it's done uploading, we can open up the serial monitor, and there you go, it is calculating the offset. To check if it's working, we can rotate this along the x-axis. As you can see here, we have the x-axis in front. The y-axis is this one. We can rotate it around the y. And you will see that the value changes. 
Now it's about 90 degrees around the y-axis. Same thing for the x, as well as the z. We can get other values like the temperature. Just write npu dot and the name of the function that you want. I'm going to search for temperature or get temp. Also, I want to change the text to temperature. And maybe we need to write the uh, Celsius. It's the unit. Then we can give it a try by hitting upload. And there you go. It's about 30 Celsius. Now, before I finish this video, I want to create a simple project, which is 11. And maybe you could use it as a device to check that if we have a flat surface or not. To do that, you will need few LEDs. Then we are going to read the angle around the x-axis. And if it's about zero, we are going to turn the middle LED, which is going to be the blue LED. And whenever we change the rotation to the right side, we are going to uh, turn on the LEDs on the right side, as well as the left side. Normally, we need to use uh, four or five ohm resistors, but we are going to turn one LED at a time. That's why you're going to need one ohm resistor. The resistance needs to be between 100 and 400 ohms. We are going to connect one lead to the ground, and the other one will go to this rail. So we'll connect all of the uh, cathode pins to this rail. Then we are going to control the LEDs using the digital pins. For example, I'm going to use the digital pin number 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's start by connecting the first LED. Make sure to connect the anode pin to the digital pin that we're going to control. And the other lead goes to the ground rail to complete the circuit of the first LED. Now we can move on to the code. And we're going to change it a bit. On top, we have to declare the uh, LED pins using const n. I'm going to call the first one LED1, which is connected to digital pin number two. And I'm going to add the other ones using copy and paste. This is going to be LED2, which is connected to digital pin number three, and so on. Next, we're going to go under the setup. We have to tell the Arduino that we're going to use these pins as outputs so that we can turn them on and off. By writing pin mode, this takes in the pin number. We're using the variable LED1 and the output keyboard. Same thing for the other pins. And make sure to change the names. So I'm going to get rid of all of these lines and start from scratch. First, we're going to get the angle and uh, put inside the variable int. I'm going to call it uh, angle x equals mpu dot get angle x to check if this value is between minus 3 and 3. In such case, we'll only turn this LED on to tell the user that the surface is flat. By writing the condition angle x is less than uh, 3 degrees and it's greater than minus 3 degrees. So when it's about 0, in such case, we would turn on all of the, uh, sorry, we are going to turn off all of the LEDs except the middle one using the digital write command that takes in the LED pin number and the value 0 is going to be off and 1 is going to be on. Let's copy it again. Make sure to change the names. And here we're going to use 1 to turn the middle LED on. And we're going to add the other conditions using else if. If it's less or equal to uh, minus 3 and angle x is greater than minus 6, in such case, we are going to turn this LED on. Or maybe this one. It doesn't really matter because it depends on the way that you want to use this device. So let's copy all of these and paste them right here. For me, I'm going to turn the LED on the left side. And now we're going to check if it's less than minus 6 degrees. In such case, we'll turn this LED on using else if angle x. So if this value is uh, less or equal to minus 6, we'll turn the first LED on. And the same thing for the other side. And here we're going to check if the angle x is between 3 and 6. And we'll turn this LED on. And finally, we can use else, which means whenever the angle x is greater than 6, I'm going to turn the last LED on. And that's all for this project. Sorry, here I have to uh, give it back to zero. The same thing right here. So let's give it a try by hitting the upload button. We have a little mistake. I think the name is wrong right here. And hit upload again. And whenever we move this to the left side or the right side, 
it's going to give us an idea about the orientation of this uh, breadboard. As I said, you could add a display and print the values that you want. I hope you like this project. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. I think I forgot to mention that we have another library, the MPU6050 by Adafruit. You could also use the examples that comes with it, like the basic readings. Also, we have motion detection to use the sensor as a motion detection, as well as an OLED display so that we can print the values. Also, we have the plotter of the serial monitor. I highly recommend you to try out these examples, and I will see you in the next one.